hello everybody and welcome back to my channel i know it has been long i really have missed making videos and i fully went with the intention last year to continue my youtube channel while going back to university full-time for the first time since like covid started and stuff like that um, and if you're new to my channel hi welcome i just finished my honors in animal plant and environmental sciences at wits university in south africa and i thought that since now i'm going to be uploading hopefully more often than i did last year just because i'm not really going to be studying further this year i'm taking kind of a gap year just to decide exactly what i want to do with my career and i think also just to have a break because i've literally been studying basically my whole life and i think it's important to take a bit of a break and see if i do want to study further or if i'm rather just wanting to study further because that's what society is saying and that's what the people around me are doing but i really want to see if that's what i want to do so that's kind of what this year is about i wanted to make a video basically showing you guys what went on in 2022 believe me 2022 was not an easy year but it definitely was not a horrible year i have many things that i'm grateful for that happened last year i really want to make my platform somewhere where i do share all of my memories and keep you guys updated as well with what's going on in my life just because i know in the future i've always loved creating memories and looking back on photos and videos and i think that's what this whole video is about so i really hope that you enjoy also if i keep on looking down it's because i have a book with all of the things that i wanted to speak about So the first thing that happened, I think I started university somewhere in February last year. I think I actually started on Valentine's Day, if I am not mistaken. Before that happened, I organized to go to a place called the Clay Cafe with a couple of my friends from university. And basically, we like all brought out different snacks. And we were there for, I think, five hours. And you go into this place and you choose whatever ceramics you want to paint and do your designs on. But I chose to do a pot for a pot plant just because you guys know I'm an avid plant lover. So I did a bit of a leaf design with like elephants and butterflies because I love nature. And that was so much of fun. It's something so different because usually my friends and I just end up going to a restaurant. So it was a really fun activity. And then I think the day after that, I ended up going to Foy's Farmer's Market with my breast with one of... <laughs> <sighs> I went to Foy's Farmer's Market with one of my best friends. I think we've been best friends since grade 5 and now we are 22. So it has been 11 years. So we've known basically each other for half our lives, which is crazy to think about. But we didn't get to see each other that often while we were both doing our degrees. So we decided to meet up at Foy's Farmer's Market with our parents who are also close. That was a lot of fun because I don't think... I had been to the new Foy's Farmer's Market location. And then as I said, the 14th of Feb, so Valentine's Day, was our first day of university. And we had a bit of an orientation week. So how my degree actually worked is we went and we signed up for the courses we wanted to do. But we had to have a meeting with our supervisor and the lecturers to make sure that we are good fit for the the course and it also worked on a first come first serve basis but obviously they wanted to teach us independence and kind of allow us to have the ability to make our own schedules and choose our own courses and get in our lectures a little bit and a little bit more about the course before actually signing up for the course so that's what we ended up doing for the whole week the weekend after i finished orientation week I actually went back to dance class for full time for the first time since covid and to be honest, I kind of struggled with dancing online just because I feel like dance is such a, an important part of my life. And I'm a very social person when it comes to dance that I love feeding off of like other people's laughter, energy. And like you also just you feel like you're not alone when you're dancing and, or like you mess up. And so I really, really miss having dance in person. So I was so excited to go back and we've been back ever since. And obviously, I didn't take a lot of videos or pictures or do a lot during my first block my first block or term or quarter whatever you call it was extremely extremely hectic and that's i think where i started you know faltering with uploading videos because i swear i was working 24 7 even with like dance class that was like my only break i would work on saturdays and sundays trying to get work done i had something due for marks almost every single day 
big projects and on top of working on my honors dissertation which is year long and working on my proposal for that so it was so much that was going on so i didn't really get a lot of um, pictures and videos but what was cool is that my course did like this whole brainstorming thing we were like broken up into groups um, in our class and basically had to condense the entire course and reteach it to the class which i thought was an amazing way to kind of look, see what you like remember of course one of the biggest highlights of my year was graduating and having a graduation ceremony it's actually funny because i had said to myself like when covid started that i refused to have an online graduation after all of the stress and anxiety blood sweat and tears that went into getting the degree so i was very grateful for having an in-person graduation and so i actually had a whole video basically talking about my outfit and saying why i was also a little bit absent if you didn't know my grandfather also passed away at the beginning of april last year and so that also kind of threw a curveball and was obviously a lot to go through right at the beginning of the year while also juggling university but i have my graduation video which is going to be linked up here and in may what was really cool so for my honors dissertation even though i was working i was basically doing my project remotely my supervisor really wanted me to go to the reserve to figure out and see how it is and get a better understanding because obviously when you're there it's better to visualize things rather than just looking at a 2d map or whatever you're creating and so it was actually in Mpumalanga and I think I haven't ever been there it was such an enjoyable journey I mean I got to know my supervisors a lot better as well which was really nice I think it kind of broke the ice between us and we basically spent the whole day like hiking around and taking GPS points and just basically exploring all the flowers which was amazing to say the least and it was a whole day trip so it was quite beautiful i actually made i think a reel on instagram which reminds me if you're not following me on instagram definitely do because when i don't post on youtube especially last year i made like short reels here and there in my honors year i it was kind of daunting going in just because the friends that i made in my undergraduate degree actually weren't coming with me into the avenue that i chose for my honors i only had one friend that i knew from undergrad and thankfully she was such a say and she introduced me like to her whole group of friends and i re really don't think i would have gotten through the year without them we really tried to do fun things throughout the year we became actually very close like i can't believe i only know them for just over a year basically fun thing that we would do is we would go to like different restaurants or pubs after university was finished or we'd organize quiz nights with each other and i think it's really important that we always remember that when we are studying to still take time out and enjoy your university or college years because you don't want to only look back on the last four or five years on your life and realize all you've done has been sitting at a desk. I think having a really good balance is important and I really learned how to kind of do that last year. And then my best friend and I both graduated. I think we actually graduated a week or two apart. And so our parents got us together and we went to a restaurant and we celebrated both of us graduating. And we just spent the whole night eating good food, catching up. And then at the end of the second term, I went to Cape Town with my mom and my sister for my sister's birthday. She turned 17. And it was also the first time we ended up going since COVID began and so if you don't know my mom's basically my mom's whole family lives there except for her brother who lives here and so we used to go almost every year you know see my grandparents my aunts my cousin etc but with covid we obviously couldn't so we kind of made it a birthday trip and a catch-up trip um for the two years that we missed out obviously we had facetime but like my cousin for instance she is Five and I lost for her in person when she was two and like it's such a big difference like seeing her on FaceTime versus you know like seeing her in person and getting to interact with her and I did make a whole vlogged video about it so I'll also link it up here so that I don't talk forever about what we did but we did so many fun things we went on Table Mountain, visited beaches etc so definitely go and check out that video to see what i got up to and when i got back one of my friends from uni actually had a 70s themed birthday which if you don't know i love all things to do with the 70s whether it's music fashion interior design 
anything around like that era i absolutely love it so i was in my element during this so it was so much of fun we just like had a braai and we played like a whole lot of games including 30 seconds which i absolutely love board games everyone got dressed up i absolutely love dress up parties i feel like it's such a cool way to make something a bit different but also get people out of their comfort zone so while i was in cape town one of my friends actually got engaged and so i organized a small little celebratory lunch after university for about three or four of us at the goddess cafe we neither of us had ever been but all of us wanted to try it out and there's a goddess cafe actually like two roads down from my university and so we ended up going after our lectures had finished for the day and then as i said my sister turned 17 while we were in cape town and my sister's never ever really done like a party or anything like that or a big get together with her friends from high school because she was in high school for one year and then it was COVID and so she decided to have a euphoria themed birthday and we made all the decorations ourselves mainly her just basically delegating to me what I needed to do because she's like she loves organizing like her own birthday and baking her own cake she's one of those people and so we just had so much of fun took so many pictures her cake was amazing it was she made like a rainbow cake and we also like all got dressed up and stuff like that august was actually a bit of a tough month for me i lost a very very close friend of mine she was more like family very unexpectedly because i'd actually seen her like four days before she passed away we did take pictures on that day but there was pictures with kids so i don't want to obviously put it up on the internet it was something very difficult to deal with and i think after my grandfather also passing away it just it was a lot for me to i think process at that time but also if you didn't know august is my birthday so i was like i was in a really really strange place because just like the day before the few days before she passed away like she was so excited to come i was organizing like a picnic with my friend and i actually was going to cancel everything but everyone basically that knew how i like how everything was going they said you know she would have wanted you to celebrate it and that she wouldn't have ever wanted me to you know cancel and be upset and things like that and obviously it's sometimes easier said than done but i decided to go ahead and, and so i had a picnic with my friends at the park and my mom and i had like prepared all of these different things and we just had such a lovely time i mean it was windy and it was cold but we all played again 30 seconds we all split up into groups so that was so much of fun and everyone enjoyed the food and i felt just really blessed so i had the picnic actually the day before my birthday and then for my actual birthday i had a very simple day just because it was a monday and because i basically celebrated my birthday on the the sunday so i had basically just gotten bubble tea on my birthday and i went out for dinner to an Indian restaurant I know like why would an Indian go to an Indian restaurant for their birthday but like South African Indian food is actually very different to like India Indian food and so we don't get to eat like that cuisine that often and so whenever I get the chance to I always want to eat dosa goan prawn curry and pani puri so for my birthday I requested to go then it was just me and my mom my dad my sister and uh, my cousin shannon and it was it was a really chilled laid-back evening and then i'm also gluten-free sugar-free and dairy-free which i'll get into in another video for health reasons my parents and sister were really funny they basically made it out of like fruit like not a fruit cake like an actual cake, like fruit like platter thing is what they got made me for like my birthday which is really cute and funny in august i have actually quite a few family members birthdays but i have a cousin who just moved to Joburg for his job um at the beginning of 2022 and so we really wanted to take him out to celebrate and go somewhere different that he doesn't get to ever go to or that he hasn't ever been to and so we actually took him for a day out to hot to beer's food and he's a very quiet and shy person but he absolutely enjoyed himself there and we went to the upside down house we went to um little paris so we Although I've been to Hearties before, we tried to go to places that none of us had ever gone to and we acted like true tourists. And then we went to like this little cute cafe and then obviously to see the 
the actual like dam and river area and then we came back and then i think at the end of august my university actually turned 100 years old and so there was like all these different parades and things like that i unfortunately couldn't go to a lot of the festivities just because I, it was nearing the end of when i wanted to give my dissertation in for some review before you know starting my actual write-up and i was reaching the deadline so i didn't i couldn't go to everything that i wanted to but they had amazing stuff they had like concerts they had a light show they had a parade and what i did go to is i went to something called the yebo Hoja, which is basically a, an exhibition for the whole science faculty if i'm not mistaken and you basically go and see all these people different exhibits or um the research they're currently working on and we even saw a live iguana which was so cool i don't think i'd ever seen an orange one and my sister and i basically did some experiments and we did like these vr like stuff it was like super cool and we also went to the planetarium yeah.